I'm Bradley Johnson with 1-800-DUI-AWAY. Not getting behind the wheel after drinking is the best choice. But if you're pulled over, the next best choice is to call 1-800-DUI-AWAY. It's another Jubal phone tab. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5. Student counseling. This is Renee. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. I'm a student here, and I really want to talk with somebody about a personal situation that I'm having. Okay, I'm here to help. How can I help? Is this confidential? Absolutely. It will not be shared with anyone. <sighs> okay, cool. So I met this girl named Rachel, and she's super hot. Okay, <laughs> we've only been out like once before. And yesterday, she texted me a picture of her nipple. And now I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh. You there? Okay. Does this make you uncomfortable? No, I wouldn't say it necessarily makes me feel uncomfortable. I just don't know how to respond to it, you know? Okay. What do you mean by respond? I mean, you don't know how to whether you should call her or, or text well, her? No, no my, my buddy Paul told me the polite thing to do is to send a <laughs> pic. But my other buddy Trevor says I should play hard to get and just send like a picture of my <laughs> hole. <laughs> what do you think I should do? <clears throat> you, you know, because I don't want to be, I don't want to be rude. You, you don't want to be rude. Right. This is confidential, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Let's say you and I were doing this. What would you expect back from me? Me? Because I want to be polite, and I feel like the <laughs> hole is the right place to go with it. But I, you know, I don't, I've never done this before. It's, I don't, just don't know how to act. Well, maybe I can get someone else to help you out here because I, I'm just a volunteer and I don't think I'm qualified to answer. Do other people have this problem too or are you getting a lot of questions about, you know, the sexting and like what's the appropriate picture to send? Frankly, I've never heard a question like this in my life and so I'm going to get someone else definitely to help you out here, okay? Can you just give me any kind of help? I mean, just forget the whole role that you're a school counselor and all that kind of stuff. What would you do if you were in my situation? Well, I'll tell you something. I would button up my pants, young man. You mean send her like a picture without my shirt on? I don't have any abs or anything, so it's kind of pointless. Like, I do. Well, what that means is that whatever you're talking about with your, uh, your, your, your butt or with that other word you were using. My butthole. We don't need uh, everyone to. Uh, I, I don't even want to talk about it. Makes me uncomfortable. And I thought that you guys were supposed to help us out with questions. Well, why don't you just give her flowers like a nice young man would do? I think my <laughs> hole is a better option than flowers, don't you? Look, I can't help you out. I'm going to get my boss and maybe she can help you out. Do you mean your boss, Sue? You're going to go grab Sue? Oh. What? Yeah, your boss's name is Sue, right? Yes. How do you know that? Because she actually emailed me to call you and make you feel uncomfortable. What are you talking about? I mean that this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning. I'm moving 92.5 doing a phone tap on you. And your, I and your boss, I don't know your boss Sue set you up. It's a prank phone call. A prank? <sighs> your boss... Oh wanted me to call you and make you feel uncomfortable. So I thought of the only thing. Uh, well, well, she did. <laughs> I thought if there's she really did. one thing in the world that can make somebody feel uncomfortable, it's my hole. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was so uncomfortable. <laughs> Thank you so much for making me so uncomfortable. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Wake up every morning with Jubal phone tabs. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5.